Doris, what's up? What's up? I'm back with another reading. This is Doris, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This person here is super, duper, duper, duper passionate about you. Okay, now this person here is getting that into that. They're reviving that passion out here, okay? This person is likely to get things done quickly, all right? They're physically very attracted to you, very passionate about you. This person now has that like, self-confident warrior energy, okay? That's a very headstrong man here or uh, energy here that's coming towards you, Taurus, okay? You, on the other hand, you're with the justice in reverse here. You feel things are not fair, things are not balanced. Uh, someone probably cheated, betrayed you or, you know, things. Some, you were just not treated fairly okay uh right now you're in a point where you're not still thinking logically you're still letting external factors sway you from the undeniable facts that something didn't work out you're still not ready to cut this person out here which is why you're still sitting here and moping now what's happening here is that this person out here is wanting to take in and control of the situation here with the emperor here someone here wants to offer you structure stability security this is someone here who is <coughs> Uh, definitely thinking long term, okay, wanting to build a strong foundation out here. But with the King of Wands, this person is not going to stop. They're zoned in on you and um, they're making like a very good judgment about this, all right. And um, that's a very charismatic person out here, okay, but someone with authority, all right. But this person out here is ready to take action, okay. No more uh, being laid back and passive out here. How does Taurus view this connection? With the person they're dealing with. <clears throat> How does Taurus do this direction? Eight of Cups in reverse. See, baby doll, you can't walk away here. You can't walk away. You're still not being able to walk away here. You need to get or find the emotional strength to walk away from something that does not make you happy. Now, this is telling me a lot of things. Here. You have the fear of abandon, being abandoned. You probably are clinging on to someone out here, okay? But there's this unwillingness to move on from this person out here. You fear change, okay? You're not facing your emotions here. But there is this uh, um, lack of leaving situations, okay, which don't serve you, okay? So this is just your taking action of sticking into a relationship based on temporary feelings out here, okay? But <clears throat> that's what it is. Tell me, how does this person view this connection with Taurus? How does this person view this connection with Taurus? How does this view, person view this connection with Taurus? Hi. This person's holding back from commitment out here, okay? This person knows with the hermit in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Now you're dealing with someone here who's just trying to um, run away from reality. The reality is that if they want to make things happen with you, then they better get their shit together. But right now what's happening here is that this person is being very lonely, very isolated, okay? And this person is missing opportunities with you here, okay? They also know that there's a lack of commitment, stability, security here. Tradition could be a problem between both family, friends, uh, a lot of other people coming between you. But most of all, tradition and family is coming between you guys, okay? Uh, maybe you guys don't believe, belong to the same religion or whatever it is, but this person could be either non-committal and someone here who is absolutely running from the reality, okay? This person is grieving alone, okay? There's extreme isolation here, but because they're so isolated, right? They're slowly, slowly, they're losing a grip of reality, you know, because of the amount of time that they spent in isolation here, okay? This person is living in denial here. That's what's happening here. They know, they need to know, do what they want to do, but, okay. But still, this person's going to try and... They're holding back now. They're holding back. What is the mutual energy between Taurus and the person they're dealing with? <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. You're both thinking that something's not working out here. Misfortune, bad luck, okay? Both of you are not talking. There could be a lack of communication here, okay? But there's definitely here where there are negative changes, okay? And both of you all probably feel that the wheel is never going to be in your favor, okay? This is like where luck is just not on your side. You're go getting through, going through a lot of frustrating delays, okay? A lot of turbulence, a lot of disturbance in this connection here. Both of y'all are feeling it, okay? But both of y'all feel that you guys are losing and you both are at the mercy of fate, okay? It's like you're forced to leave the entire situation on the universe, okay? It's like, fine, let be, let God, all right? That's how it is here. But both of y'all feel very helpless right now. One more thing I'm getting here is that uh, both of y'all are waiting for change. 
the changes in happening and both of you are just waiting there sitting with a pot of sauce you know you are both are just trying to avoid drama or conflict it's like you know what fuck it if it's not working out fuck it if it's working out good if it's not screw it <clears throat> what is the root of the issue for Taurus or the person they are dealing with what is the root of the issue what is the root of the issue for Taurus or the person they are dealing with what is the root of the issue what is the root of the issue here See, this person has to keep coming back around, baby. See, what's happening here is, first of all, you're dealing with someone here who's very, very, very um, logical, very analytical. This person does not like to make any head over heart over head decisions. This person is very detached, very cold, okay, and their vibes, very intellectual, okay. So they always want to keep constantly thinking as like, you know, they want to weigh the things very objectively here. Okay, this person is also, they, they lack impulsiveness, okay. So what happens here is, in their mind, they've made up their mind and they're probably taking consideration of all, uh, analyzing the weak points and the risk out here, they probably are holding back their emotions, okay. And uh, this person here is very controlled, alright. So, very ethical out here, yes, but at the same time, they're very cold in their vibes, okay, which is why you're coming off as probably more emotional because if you were logical, you would have had the justice in up right here. You are still making uh, decisions where you are being swayed by other factors, say emotions or ego or whatever it is. This person out here, they keep coming back around, okay, with the page of wands here. Now, this person here wants to travel with you, alright, is what I am getting here. They want to travel with you, they want to keep it all fun and light and games, alright. This person is seeking adventure, that's like a fiery impulsive kid, alright. Very confident, very energetic, okay. Uh, they want, they, they, they're changing their direction all this while they were probably doing something else. Now they're changing their direction coming towards you, okay. But it's a very high youthful energy out here, okay. And <clears throat> they are still doing what they kept doing, repeating the same old bullshit over and over again. Now it's like this person knows that what they're doing is the wrong thing to do, alright. They know it, but they are refusing change. Which is why they keep repeating the patterns here, okay, which is why things get stagnant. Which means again doing the same thing over and over again with the wheel of fortune in reverse, you're not learning your lessons, alright. So this person could be going through some internal private transformation here, okay. But things are taking a lot longer to change only because this person's holding on to the past or they're resisting change. They're very scared of change, like oh my god. Will I really have to change the way I think? Really have to change my entire life if I want to be with Taurus? No. Why don't I do one thing? Why don't I just take a break? Why don't I just keep ghosting Taurus and then come back to them with a new energy out here? Hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do that. Yeah, I love you. Let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Because there's a lot of passion from this person's side. And you are more like, no. Passion is fine. But where is something legal? I want something fair. I want something that I deserve and I'm not going to settle for anything less out here. So it's like they very conveniently live in denial that there is a lack of commitment here and they want to keep coming towards you like okay you know what this time around let's just make it right here but they don't talk to you about it clearly. They just make it all fun okay so which is why the moment you start getting clingy towards them again they ghost you. Okay. Uh, what does Taurus feel deep down for this person? What does Taurus feel deep down for this person? What does Taurus feel deep down for this person that they are dealing with? What is Taurus feel deep down for this person? <clears throat> you want to give up on this person out here or you already are. You feel this is a losing game, okay? You feel you don't have the strength out here. But at the same time out here, ask yourself, are you genuinely making a decision here to let this person go or are you still sticking to your comfort zone, not making a logical decision and just trying to choose to stick to a con uh, to a connection only because it's known or because it's familiar. You have the whole world in front of you, you have the entire globe in front of you, but you are avoiding making a decision because you have the fear of the unknown or because you just fear losing this person out here or you're just sticking to your comfort zone, all right? So yeah, you do know that you're losing out here, you're not going to be able to fight for this connection, you're giving up, you're lacking the strength to hold on to this, but at the same time, you're not even making a decision here to completely let this person go. How does this person think for Taurus? Okay, God disconnected. I'm so sorry. How does this person think for Taurus? <coughs> Queen of Swords. <laughs> yeah, obviously. This person wants to communicate with you. Alright. But deep down they know that if they don't come towards you correct, you are going to cut their head the fuck off. 
this person you feel that they're being assertive this time around okay but uh, i mean they realize that they have to make a very no bullshit approach towards you okay so they know you have your healthy boundaries up okay and they know that you are very independent and you don't need their approval they know that you're not uh, afraid to rock the boat out here okay so yeah when they come towards you i feel they feel deep down that you're going to be very direct and to the point okay so yeah they know that you can't be fooled easily but with the eight of wands this person definitely wants to communicate with you and they want a lot of communication back and forth but again here with the seven of swords here are they being clear about what they want are they clear, being clear about their intentions are they telling you everything are they being honest about why they're coming back nada what action will taurus take towards this person that they are dealing with what action will this person take towards taurus no sorry my bad what action will taurus take towards this person that they are dealing with what action will this person take towards Taurus? Why do you keep saying that? What action will Taurus take towards the person that they are dealing with? What action will Taurus take towards the person they are dealing with? What action will Taurus take towards the person they are dealing with? King of Cups. Beautiful. Keep loving them. What action will this person take towards Taurus? 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 Moving forward. What action will this person take towards Taurus? Moving forward. Ten of Wands and Jewels. This person here is letting go of a burden stress. So now, if um, if you have been in no communication with this person here, this is becoming too much of a pressure for them okay they feel it's too much they're getting bogged down all right by not talking to you uh it's becoming a heavy load on them okay by not talking to you or this relationship out here where there is just no clarity out here this person out here finally is going to let go of the burdens okay they're going to break under pressure so continue doing what you're doing out here you're giving up and now they're standing up for it is what i'm getting here okay so they're probably kind of you know uh i'd say they're um Ending the burdens out here, whatever burdens that if this person was very occupied with other responsibilities, they're letting that go. If this connection was a big burden on them, not in a bad way, but in a way where you're not talking to them and they're not getting anything from you, it's becoming too much, they're letting it go here. Okay. And I feel this person is ready to come towards you and communicate. Okay. So there will be communication from this person here with the page of pentacles and they want to work on this connection here. But the problem here is with the two of swords here, I want to make a decision. I don't even know. I think you're going to flat out block them out. Although with the king of cups, you do love them. But this love is the quiet love, right? It's like the quiet love. It's like the silent love. Like, yeah, I love you, but I'm not going to tell you, you know. So probably the way you will behave with this person when this person communicates with you is like, yeah, screw you. Or you're just going to be like, your silence is going to say screw you to them. But yeah, I don't think you're going to tell them how you really feel, but except me. <laughs> but this person definitely knows what you feel deep down okay and they're just wanting to come towards you but they're still doing it very sneakily still not telling you it's still the half truth when they come towards you you know so i think this person here has a habit of coming back towards you over and over again okay and uh, not addressing the fact that uh, there is a lack of commitment here and how much it hurts you because they know it'll be too much drama the moment there's drama the page of wands runs away all right what is the best, uh, what is the immediate future for Taurus? What is the immediate future for Taurus and their connection with this person? What is the immediate future for Taurus and the connection with this person? What is the immediate future for Taurus and their connection with this person? What is the immediate future for Taurus and their connection with this person? Reconciliation, beautiful ace of wands, your baby. This person is more than passionate about you, okay? Yeah, they're going to invest, okay? Now, let's not talk too much. Let's not be very mean to them also. Okay. What I like about here is that, yes, there is a brand new beginning between you both. Relax. Okay. There is a brand new beginning between you both here. There is a stronger commitment and stability in love from this person's side. This person does seek long-term success with you. Okay. They do favor outdoors. They do want to get out for you, with you. They do want a holiday with you. They want to get out. All right. They want to travel, etc. It is a good beneficial stage for a relationship to develop. I like that. Okay. With the three of cups here, I feel there will be a reconciliation here. Either you guys are catching up, you guys are meeting up, you guys are getting back together here, okay? But this is the three of cups here, okay? Which is more like, I wouldn't lie, but it is friend zoning, all right? Well, yes, I love you, you love me, but I'm not going to tell you, you don't tell me, okay? But we'll still act like friends, but at the same time, deep within we're lovers, 
Okay. But with Asa Ponce, there is a lot of passion out here and there is a clean new slate that's starting, a clean new chapter starting between you both here. And a uh, lot of passion, a lot of chemistry within the re relationship here. There is commitment here to succeed, but the commitment here to succeed is more like, I want to I, I wanna meet you, I, I want to start all brand new, let's just forget what happened in the past. So there's no more all talk, all talk, no action. There is finally talk also, and there's going to be action also from this person's side, okay? This person's finally going to lack uh, going to get the willpower and strength to move towards you and there will be forward moment in this connection here all right and with the page of pentacles i do like it because this person's going to reach out to you and three of pentacles here they're going to try and work it out with you okay like let's just meet halfway is what i'm getting here okay but three of cups here there is a reconciliation here you know what i want to see the emperor here what's the emperor in the current situation what's the emperor in the current situation this is you guys system what's the emperor in the current situation What's the emperor in the current situation? Six of wands in reverse. So then maybe this is just you, you know? Maybe this is just you trying to get out of your head here, releasing any stress, free anxiety here. But the emperor is structure, right? That's all about wanting a solid foundation here. So maybe this person is coming towards you with a solid foundation, but again, there is a lack of um, confidence. There's a lack of self-esteem here, okay? This person here probably is too stuck up on the path out here, okay? So there could be a little bit of ego here. Anyway, the emperor is someone who's very egoistic here, okay? But with the six of wands in reverse here, um, it's more like one step, two steps forward. No, it's like one moving backwards, but then it's like one step forward, two steps backward. Did I make sense? Get what I'm saying? That's what's happening here. This person wants to take control of the situation right now, okay? But it's still like moving forward, but then again moving backward too, okay? Could be arrogant, could be ego, but uh, someone out here is probably definitely missing the attention out here, okay? They, they lack the attention, they don't, they don't feel uh, praised by you, but yeah, could be someone here who's an attention seeker, all right? Not getting that so much here, but this is what it is. What's the six of wands in reverse? <laughs> Four of wands. There's a lack of recognition here when this person comes in, is what I'm getting. You don't give them the attention when they come in, is what I'm getting here. Maybe this person has commitment on their mind, but they're not ready for it. They want to take it very slow. Okay, it's like, I want to do a lot more, achieve a lot more with you before I can settle along with you. What's the death in reverse? What's the death in reverse? <laughs> See, they want a short-term solution here. Extremist, you're dealing with an extremist here, which is why this person does not want to change their ways here. You know, this person's like, now they have two choices here. Either they completely commit to you and change themselves absolutely, or then they you know, they're completely, absolutely on the other side, non-committal, and they continue doing what they're doing. And that's what they're doing here. This person lacks balance, you know. It's like either one foot in or one foot out. They don't understand what moderation is. That's the kind of person you're dealing with. So when they rush in, they're rushing like that, you know. And when they leave, they're absolutely out of your life. So there is no midway here. Like you won't ever be like constantly in flow with touch with them, you know. So when you're talking, there'll be so much of communication. And when they're, talk when they're not talking, you'll just feel like they just disappear from the fucking face of them. Okay? Okay? Okay?